Hello everybody, um, this is Emmett Tanan. Um, we haven't been doing videos at all. I don't know if we're going to continue or not, but I'm going to continue uploading some every now and then just to kind of, um, I don't know, I'll let you guys know how things are going for me. Okay, so today I just had to post a video because I don't even know how this many things can happen in one day. I don't really know. To, to set off my emetophobia. Okay, um, if you haven't noticed already, I have a little bit of a cold. I got my Kleenex, and um, I've pretty much just had kind of a cough. I've had like an ongoing headache for the past three days, and I'm giving up caffeine, or I'm giving up cough right now, so I've been sort of a caffeine plus the sinus headache mixed, and um, so yeah, I'm trying to get over this little cold and my stuffy nose and whatever. So, but other than that, I've felt okay. But alright, so, I work at a grocery store. Okay, well first let's start off with, I um, went to an open house today. It's summer, people are graduating, there's open houses. Um, I went to an open house today, which obviously... Um, for those of you who watched my last video that I put up, I don't eat out anymore, really. Um, and if I do eat out, I do not eat any, like, meat that can be messed up and cooked wrong, and I rarely ever eat out anyway, really. Um, so anyway, I ate at an open house where other people prepare your food, and, um, so yeah. I trust these people. They go to my church. I've known them for a while, but anyway. There was Sloppy Joe's, there was like chicken from a restaurant, didn't have any of that. But I did eat some of the Sloppy Joe's, that was at 2, it's now almost 1, I'm pretty sure I'm okay there. So at least that's not what's freaking me out. Um, so anyway, um, that was kind of a thing for me today, eating food that other people had prepared, but I was hungry and I had work, so I figured I should probably just eat free food. So, anyway, I had work at 5, and it's now, like I just said, it's 12.42 a.m. here in Michigan. Um, but I had work at 5, and uh, until 10.45, so it was kind of a short shift. I work at a grocery store. So, I, um, you know, it's been a, an interesting day at work. It's always an interesting day. There's lots of customers. I touch a lot of money. Um, I never know who's going to come into the store. It's just always a little bit crazy. So, um, I literally was just about to leave. I went out to my car, grabbed my wallet, because I went and bought some green tea, because I know it's very good for you, and I've been struggling with, like, some kind of acne breakouts, and I heard it's really good to drink. And plus, I'm giving up pop because of my acne, and, um, I'm trying to, like, try things that are healthier for me, and I know pop is really bad, and it can cause acne and stuff, so this is only my third day without it, but I'm hoping it will be a good thing that I do. So anyway, um, yeah, I went and, um, got my lot out of my car, you know, clocked out and everything, and then bought myself some tea at the U-Scan, because that's while it was open, and, um, the girl that was at the U-Scan, I know I'm friends with her, um, she said, Oh, um, I just had to clean up someone's puke on aisle whatever. I don't even remember the aisle. And I was like, what did you just say? Like, you know, type thing. Nobody I work with knows that I have this phobia until tonight because um, I just don't talk about it unless it comes up, you know. And I'm not really close with that many people at my work yet. So, um, yeah. So I told her. She's like, I had to go clean it up. And I'm like, eh. Like, it just freaked me out. And I had just walked down that aisle to get my tea and not realizing that somebody had just thrown up in that aisle. So I'm a little bit freaked out right now. I mean, she had already cleaned it up. It's not like it was still sitting out and it's not like it was just like, you know, floating through the air or anything crazy. But I was freaked out. And I'm like, who throws up at a grocery store just randomly just chilling? Like, it's 11 at night and you're just going to puke in the grocery store. You don't even go to the bathroom. You're just going to puke in aisle whatever where the tea is. I don't know. So, anyway, I was a little bit um, freaked out. I um, I was supposed to go meet my friend um, that I work with. She got off like 15 minutes before me, so she went home and changed. And I was supposed to meet her at Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner, which is fine. Buffalo Wild Wings is great. I love that place. Um, so, anyway, 
I really kind of lost my appetite, and I was just going to get like a salad or something at Beat-Ups, but I actually ended up just getting fries because, I mean, not the best choice for me, but um, don't have to worry about anyone really messing up fries. I mean, I hope for the most part. So anyway, um, yeah. So I, you know, went to Beat-Ups, and even though my metaphobic mind was kind of freaking out about the whole situation at Kroger, I hadn't really gone near it, and I don't work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday this week. So I was like, you know what, I don't have to go near that aisle all week and I'm not even going to be at the store. So in four days, I should hopefully not even have to worry about it anymore. And they cleaned it up with this stuff that they use for toxic spills, which vomit is considered a toxic spill because you don't know what could be in that person's system or whatever. So anyway, I'm hoping I'm safe there. I'm just hoping nobody at my work gets sick and starts like a work demic of whatever. And you know what? I'm getting a little bit irritated because I've been noticing that, like, people are getting the stomach flu and it's, like, June. I'm like, what is even going on? Because people don't normally get, like, this type of sickness during June. I don't know if it's some kind of crazy bug going around, but, like, normally it can kind of relax during the summer and it seems like I kind of just can't right now. I'm a little irritated. So there's my venting about that. So anyway, my boyfriend has been in Arizona for the past like 10 days. He got back on Friday. I still haven't been able to see him because I worked Friday, Saturday, and today, and he worked today. We were supposed to hang out tomorrow, but um, as soon as I got out of work, I had a text from him, and he threw up at work today. He had a really bad headache. He thinks he was dehydrated. You know, if you have a headache for a really long time, a really pounding headache, like a migraine, it can kind of make you nauseous. So apparently he threw up once at work. And, um... Yeah, he knows about my phobia, so it's not like he, yeah, he knew he needed to tell me as much as it was going to freak me out, because we're supposed to hang out tomorrow. Um, so yeah, um, he threw up, I'm not sure really why yet, but he also had a hockey game earlier, and he didn't drink hardly any water today or the, or the yesterday. He had a hockey game, it's been really humid, he just came from Arizona, like, I'm pretty sure he's just really dehydrated. So that's what I'm hoping. I mean, no, I don't want him to be dehydrated, but I'm hoping it's not a stomach bug that I can catch. So anyway, yeah, he went to the emergency room because today he fell on his wrist during his hockey game and sprained it. So it's just been kind of like a really crappy day. Sorry, somebody just messaged me on Facebook. Anyway, um, I just like, I'm kind of freaked out. I mean, he knows how I am. He knows that I'm freaked out about it. I told him I really don't want to hang out if you're sick, you know, like, I don't want to catch it, and when we hang out, it's like, you know, we're going to be together really close, and I'm going to kiss him. I haven't seen him in 13 days. 14 days will be tomorrow, so it's like, yeah, I kind of miss my boyfriend a little bit, so I'm kind of freaked out. Like, I don't want to not see him. I don't want to make him feel bad, and at the same time, I don't know if he's sick or if he's just dehydrated and, you know, just got a little nauseous and threw up from that, but I'm a little freaked out at this point. So, we will see, um... But, like, legit, sorry, I just said that, I hate when people say that, but this is kind of one of those situations where it's okay to use it, because I'm really just, like, really, at this day, I'm just really annoyed. Um, somebody gets say I'm at work right before I leave, then I go to beat-ups, I'm talking, actually, I told my friend from work at beat-ups that I have, like, a phobia about it, so she sort of knows now, but, and I told the girl at the U-Skin that I kind of had a, have a phobia about it, and she's like well, good luck when it actually happens to you. She was kind of a jerk to me about it, and I'm like, well, I mean, it's happened to me before. It just really freaks me out, and I don't know how to handle it. So, um, anyway, today has been very eventful and a little bit stressful, and I'm trying not to go crazy. And I'm trying to get over this cold myself that I'm having, and I really just don't want to freak out about anything else right now. But, um, that's my little video. I know we haven't been putting them up. I hope somebody still watches this and feel free to comment or anything you want to say about this. Um, and thanks for watching me rant. And like, hopefully I'm not the only one who has these crazy days where it seems like everything is going fine and then it all happens in like one day or one week. Like everything just piles up. I don't know why that always happens, but it really does. And it seems to happen with emetophobia a lot. Like you're having this really good week or this really good month even and then like out of nowhere it just seems like everything happens in one day or like a couple minutes like I don't even know your whole world can just kind of flip and you can get crazy
So, um, I don't know. Pray that this, pray for me. I don't know. Pray that this week it's better and that, I don't know, nothing happens with my boyfriend and that he's okay and everything like that. And, um, I just, yeah, I just felt the need to upload this. So thank you for watching and um, I'm going to try to upload more often. I know that we kind of just don't do it at summer and we've been working a lot and really busy and everything like that and we have our own lives and families and things but um yeah feel free to comment or you know if you want like give us some ideas for videos or any questions that you have for us or anything like that I mean I know we're not experts but we have a metaphobia and we're willing to pretty much talk about any subject about it and it's really therapeutic for us at least for me it is I think I speak for Aurora and Cassie also and when I say it's therapeutic, because it does help, so, um, I hope everyone else is having a good week, and not a scary day or week like I had today, um, and I'll see you guys, well, not really see you guys, but you'll see me hopefully sooner than later, all right, thank you, bye.